When I was young and I used to like those micro machines and play with them and push them around, now I can actually get in that toy and drive it. Car enthusiast Corey Jones has created a customized Camaro masterpiece with a massive set of rims. We got the 32 inch uh, custom made Forgiatos. This was the first uh, set in the world of 32 inch Forgiato Blancos. I got them painted to match the car and I left a brush in there because they had a brush face. I have two 27 inch screens in there. I have three speakers running along the door. I have an Xbox in there that's hooked up Wi-Fi. Um, I have custom lights that change color. Kind of like every RGB color that you could think of. So whatever I make this move to, that's what color the lights go to. It's just uh, basically a 2016 Camaro 6 Gen with a custom paint job, modified suspension for the wheels, custom interior. Basically it. It's just a fun car and it's just something that a lot of us love to do. We get together with the cars on the big wheels and, and hang out. My inspiration uh, for the car was growing up, I used to like low riders. I always liked cars. I had a passion for cars probably ever since I can remember. Once I got older and I bought my first vehicle and started making more money, I just started doing crazy stuff. The 36-year-old from Illinois manages Crusader Customs and has been building wacky cars for the last 10 years. Monitor inside the door. I also got like another little piece cut out that I had my name in, but we took that out and decided to make it look like the screen. I also I don't know if y'all can notice, but I don't got no door handles. So I got these little buttons in the inside that I push and it pops the door open. I changed out the interior of the car, put the two-tone peanut butter ultra leather. It's like some of the most expensive leather that you can get. Me and CJ have known each other for a long time. I remember still CJ when he was even younger, when he didn't even have his dreads. Um, I helped him with the build. We do all the builds together. We always have fun. I mean, you got to have fun in this line of work. You can't be always serious. The key elements of the of the car build is is that a lot of time and a lot of money, a lot of a lot of heart went into it. The paint is unique, as you know. It turns so many colors, indoors and outdoors. Uh, everything was custom. We just happened to notice, like on the way over, just. You know, like, I mean, how often you see a car with wheels that big, right? First, you're just sort of like, huh? And then you start really getting drawn into it. But not everyone loves these 32-inch rims. It's more of a personal thing. I mean, you guys won't believe how much hate I get for the car because it's being a sports car. Some people gonna love it, some people gonna hate it, but the most important thing is that you love it and that you appreciate what you built. Riding with the 32-inch wheels, I mean, of course, it's gonna affect the ride. You know, nothing's gonna be the same when you modify something. But a lot of people, you know, look at the car and say, he can't turn when I can do a full U-turn. Or the car is slow when I can get on the highway and do the speed limit. Like, it still gets up, it still go. The money, the money I spent, that was, it was a lot. Like, I bought the car with- How much did the process cost you, start to finish? Honestly, I don't keep track of that, like, when you do doing something you love, like the money really don't matter. It's fun, man. It's fun. It's fun. When you out there on the streets and you got a car sitting up like a truck, it don't matter how they looking at you, you're gonna stand out. Like it's so much of the same in the world today. Like you want you gotta stand out and be different.